Hello, I'm so glad you decided to come back and watch this week's Skincare Saturday. It is on the Aveeno Protect Plus Hydrate SPF 50 Facial Sunscreen. So, if you'd like to see the consistency here, prices, hear my thoughts and opinions on this actually pretty affordable sunscreen, then uh, please keep on watching. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, bookmark my page. I upload a video every single day of the week, plus I also do live streams every Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to be able to come on back and watch whenever you would like. Um, so, we are in spring slash early summer, um, and it's super important all year round to protect your skin from UV rays, from the sun, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if you've gone um, sunscreen shopping recently, but guys, sunscreen is very expensive. So when I did find this on Amazon for less than eight bucks for this pretty good sized three ounce bottle, I was super excited. It is from Aveeno, which Aveeno is a very popular, well-known brand, okay? I will leave um, a link to this down below in the comments or description box area. It will be an affiliate link through Amazon. You're welcome to use it. You don't have to. Um, but Aveeno, they have like the Positively Radiant. It's a very popular drugstore skincare brand. So when I did see this, I'm like, okay. Did a lot of research, read a lot of reviews, and I did decide to pick it up. Um, what's really, really nice about this is that it's, um, it's oil-free. It's supposed to be moisturizing. It's sweat-resistant. It's water-resistant. It has antioxidant oat in it, and it has SPF 50, okay? So, I'm like, okay, okay, I'll get it. So, like I said, three ounce bottle, okay. I really, really like the packaging. It is uh, travel friendly, so if you try to go through the airport with this, you will be okay. Um, and for like the face and neck, three ounces is, you know, they call this a travel size. I'm like, that seems pretty nice for a travel size, okay. So, it is a regular, like, just looks like a face lotion, okay. It's pretty thick okay so it's it is a pretty thick lotion okay sunscreen very 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 slightly scented it doesn't have the the regular sunscreen scent to it okay so there we go um, and I have also noticed this doesn't have flashback okay so it feels really really nice on the skin feels very moisturizing okay it spreads nicely while it is a thicker sunscreen it does blend out beautifully on the skin okay but let's go ahead and get to some of the things I don't like about it so as you guys know I do have combination skin and do you see how glowy it is? Well, guys, it stays pretty glowy. So, if you have dry skin or dry combo skin, you'll probably love this stuff because it is extremely moisturizing. It is oil-free, okay? It says it won't clog your pores, all that kind of stuff. And I do agree with that. Um, the breakouts I have, I think it's actually from the birth control bill pills I was put on. So... I've been using this for, guys, I'd say almost a month, okay, because I wanted to get a really, really good review. Okay, so, it stays pretty dewy looking, okay, which I personally don't like. I have combination oily skin, okay, so, while it feels really nice on the skin, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't sting the eyes, nothing like that, which are all good things, it is, it, it looks greasy on my skin, Okay, so it does look, it can look greasy on my skin. Another thing is where it's very moisturizing, and I like to use matte foundations. They do not play well together, okay? Um, it, the makeup will glide on very beautifully, okay? But within, I'd say, three or four hours, I've tried this with so many different types of foundations, and it will start making my foundation break up. So, um... Yeah, for me personally, this is too moisturizing for my skin. It feels amazing. I love the high SPF in it. I like that it's from a brand that I recognize, that I recognize for, you know, facial skin, like 
like I said, the Aveeno Positively Radiant. They have, like, that's been around forever, and tons of people love it. I love it. It's a great brand, you know, great line. But if you do have oily or combo oily skin, you are probably not going to like this. As you guys can see, it did kind of settle in, but it's still very shiny. Um, I didn't wear makeup yesterday to work, and I just wore this. I ended up going to the restroom, like you do at work, and I actually blotted my face. And guys, <laughs> there was imprints still. I mean, you could, I could lift off oil. I could lift off m the moisture from this. Um, so, unfortunately, I will be passing this on to someone that has a different skin type. This is an amazing product for someone with a different skin type than mine. Um... I, I love, I love it. It's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful sunscreen. It's just too emollient for me. It's just too moisturizing for my skin type, especially in the hotter months. I go from combination to straight on oily. So unfortunately, where it is super hydrating, it's not for me. But like I said, if you do have a dry to maybe a combo dry skin type, you'll probably absolutely love this. It doesn't sting the eyes. Um, even when, cause I'm a sweater, even when I sweat and sweat drips in my eyes, it doesn't sting. Um, very, very light, um, unsunscreeny scent to it. Um, it does seem to last all day. Of course, I'm just using it to wear underneath makeup. Um, I bet if you do like a more dewy looking foundation, I bet this would play beautifully underneath the makeup. Um, very first few ingredients is water, glycerin, and silica. So if you have foundation with those same first couple of ingredients, it's most likely going to play very, very nicely together. So yeah, I really, I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with this sunscreen. I love that it's a high SPF 50. And when I have been out in the sun wearing this, I have not gotten burnt at all. Okay. It does have great sun protection. It feels really, really nice on the skin. Nice scent. No flashback. Awesome things. The cons for my skin type is it gets too greasy looking. It stays looking too um, glossy, too dewy. And for me personally, the types of foundation finish I like to wear, it doesn't play nicely with the foundations that I have. But that is my skincare Saturday review of the Aveeno Protect Plus Hydrate SPF 50 um, facial sunscreen. If this sounds like something that you would love, like I said, the link will be down below in the description box. Because it is a really nice sunscreen. I just wish I had a different skin type to go with it. But um, I hope you did enjoy this week's skincare Saturday. If you did, please go and give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you share the video. We're getting that time of year where people definitely need to be doubling up on the sunscreen. Also, make sure you leave a comment down below. What is your favorite facial sunscreen? I would love to know down below in the comments. Maybe you can help a greasy girl out and let me know one that is good for my skin type. I would love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much. Um, also, if you would like, you are always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all a bunch of glam, babe. Um, and make sure you don't go anywhere. There's going to be some videos popping up around here. You're welcome to click on one of those or watch it, or one should start autoplaying here in just a few. So I will see you here in a few seconds.